Hello, I'm Allison, and I'm a CSO. What difference do you want to see on your campus, in your community, around your state, or even in your country? The CSO program believes in us. The vision is empowering CSOs to take action and be aware of our ability to make a difference. I'd like to read my first ever elevator pitch slash blog I had to write in my first day of training in 2018. Hello, my name is Nikhil Johnson, the CSO representative at Vista Del Sur Accelerator Academy. I want to spread my passion for STEM nationally and internationally. I don't know how I'll do it or when, but I guess I'll find out soon. Who knew that that kid would be able to speak to a group of sharp and brilliant STEM leaders? I definitely didn't. My parents didn't. Nobody did. I was so introverted, I was scared to order my own food at McDonald's. Now, I'm being given opportunities to moderate STEM panels and make tangible additions and changes to my school's STEM initiative. From that first moment of writing my elevator pitch to today, I thank you, yes you, for being a STEM leader that believes in its future. But what really is a CSO or a STEM ambassador? It kind of sounds like a bunch of gibberish to make me look cool. Why do we need these kids running around making decisions when the average 20 to 50 year old can do the same? The concept of student voice is so important to Kindle because it's a new perspective that you can never really reach if you're an adult. The best way to get engaged is through action plans. The awesome thing is the CSO program doesn't really put guidelines on what's possible. I got involved in my community last year by starting my own environment. By the end of the year, we had calls with STEM professionals, made PSAs, and even started a service project where we picked up seven bags of trash and planted 15 new trees. And CSOs, don't just hope it happens, make it happen. It's better to fail in originality than it is to fail in imitation. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Hello, my name is Elizabeth, the Chief Science Officer at Penwood Middle School. As a CSO and STEM ambassador, my action plan includes combining STEM and art with fractal geometry and nature. CSO, don't just hope it happens, make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen. Make it happen.